Wayne County, Michigan. That's Detroit. They have a county election board. There's two Democrats, two Republicans. The two, this is on Tuesday night, all right, Tuesday night. The two Republicans uh, refused to certify the election results of Wayne County. And they found too many issues, too many discrepancies, unexplained discrepancies is the official word. Actually, the, the official word that the media is using, the Detroit Free Press, uh, small unexplained <laughs> discrepancies. Um, they found too many of them. And they said, we are not going to certify the election results in Wayne County. If they did not, the argument was on Tuesday night that the votes of Detroit wouldn't count and Trump would win the state of Michigan. That's what was at stake here on Tuesday night. Now, what really would have happened is if the county didn't certify it, then it would have gone to the, a state regulatory board that meets on the 23rd, it's like Monday or whatever that is. But anyway, at least like, like the narrative was everything is hanging on the balance of these two Republicans right now. So there was a uh, Zoom public comment session. A uh, hundred people were supposed to speak, excuse me, exposed to speak, and they ended up opening up to 300 people. And I want to play two of them here. So we could play these all day, right? It was many, many hours. Uh, but I want to play these two comments because of who they're from. And my point of this segment is, this is the next step of the left's tactic, right? It's been a tactic that they've been using for, for a long time. But this is the next level of it. So I just want us all to get emotionally prepared for it because can you stand up to this? So this, I want to play this guy because he is a state rep elect. So he just won uh, his election just a couple weeks ago uh, to become a state representative in Michigan. Democrat, obviously. Here he is speaking to specifically the two Republicans who would not or did not want to certify the election results. Here it is. Now, let me be also very clear about this. The party that you are a part of had complete control over our state government for eight years, and they did not do a single thing. So while you may show us your caucasity today in refusing to uh, certify the election and making note that you are okay with certifying all of Wayne County except Detroit, know that we see what's happening. Know that there is nothing other than Jim Crowing that is going on right now and recognize the facts. The Republican Party's major candidate has sued over 25 times across the country, and he failed. Know the facts. You, as the Board of Canvassers, do not decide who, are, who is to be elected. The voters do. Know the facts. You are standing here today telling folks that black Detroit should not have their votes counted. And know the facts. You are certainly showing that you are a racist. You may say that you are not. You may claim that you are not. But let's be very clear. Your words today and your actions today made it clear that you are okay with silencing the votes of an 80% African-American city. Mm, it's not there. There's more here coming up. Right? So that first part there about Republicans being in charge of the state government in Michigan and Detroit, excuse me, and um, Georgia, and Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. That's true, and Republicans need to answer for, for the voting systems that we currently have right now, which is ridiculous. We'll get that to another day, get that to another day. Did you hear that one word he said? Caucasity? Like, what's caucasity? That, I had to look it up, Urban Dictionary. Caucasity is the audacity of white people, meaning the willingness to take bold risks that only white people feel safe doing called it Jim Crowing. And this is the tactic. It wasn't, oh, you are disenfranchising minority votes, which is like, the, like a little passive way of saying you're a racist. It is, you are certainly showing that you are a racist. That's the next level of it. So as we play more of these clips, I want you to put yourself in this position. Put yourself in the position of these, these Republicans here. Are you prepared? Would you be prepared to take these attacks? It is clear. You, Monica Palmer from Gross Point Woods, you are perpetuating the racist history of this country. I and mean, that was the line, right? Then he brings her kids into it. Here it is. And what that tells us is you, Miss Monica Palmer from Gross Point Woods, which has a history of racism, are deciding to enable and continue to perpetuate 
the racist history of this country. And I want you to think about what that means for your kids who probably go to Gross Point North. And when they see all their black classmates and they know that. It goes on. So we've said a couple of times on the show that if there's anyone in the country who can stand up to that type of stuff, it's Donald Trump. And that was a vote of confidence. Uh, but I don't know how many other people in this country who are willing to or have the courage to stand up to that rhetoric. And that's the left's tactic now. It's in the open. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.